Hey, what's up guys, Subtonic here. If you're looking to build a home studio with the primary focus of bringing in clients to record vocals for them, then I wanna help you build a mic locker that will cover every type of vocalist and any application that comes into your studio. So let's get into it. Now, this is just my opinion. You don't have to agree with it, but I believe you need at minimum three microphones in your locker in order to cover everything. The first mic is what I like to call the flagship microphone. This will most likely be a large diaphragm condenser microphone, and this is going to be your main studio workhorse mic. It could be a dark mic, bright mic, tube, solid state, cardioid only, multiple polar patterns, whatever you want, literally whatever you like. As long as you know your tool, and you know how to get the best sound out of your microphone and the best sound out of your space, it doesn't matter what your flagship microphone is. For me, my flagship mic is the Neumann TLM-103. And I chose this mic because I tend to work on more pop music and pop music requires that brighter, more modern, crisp sound. And this microphone does that sound very easy. So that's why I've chosen the TLM 103 as my flagship microphone. The second mic in your locker is going to be a dynamic microphone. Now this is going to give you a completely different sound from your flagship mic since it is a dynamic. This will serve as your primary vocal microphone for really loud, aggressive rap vocals, screamo vocals, and this can be your content creator, radio station, podcast, and voiceover type of microphone. For me, I've chosen the SM7B as the dynamic microphone for my studio, and I just really love the way that this microphone sounds. I've had it for about two to three years now, and it kind of has this neutral, darkish kind of sound to it. It's versatile and it has worked in every application that I've used this microphone on. The third and final microphone in your locker is going to be your specialty mic. The purpose of this mic is to fill the holes that your first two microphones don't cover. If your flagship mic is a tube condenser mic, get a solid state condenser. Cardioid only, get a multi-pattern microphone. If you work on music that benefits from the sound of a ribbon microphone, maybe you wanna invest in a ribbon microphone into your locker. For me, it's the WA47 Junior by Warm Audio. It has a K47 style capsule in it. Now, my flagship mic is the TLM-103, which has a K103 capsule in it. That capsule is within the K67, K87 family, which means my TLM-103 sounds very similar to a U87, whereas the 47 Junior is gonna sound a little bit closer to a U47-ish kind of sound. The U47 and a U87 are two very different microphones. So I have a completely different sounding condenser microphone in my locker. The other reason that this is my specialty microphone is because it has multiple polar patterns. The TLM-103 and the SM7B are cardioid only, and if I wanna experiment with some other polar patterns with just those two mics, I can't do it. So the 47 Junior covers that utility for me. That is an idea of how to build a mic locker for your studio. You get a flagship studio workhorse microphone, a dynamic mic, and a specialty mic to cover the gaps that your first two microphones don't cover. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see more content from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.